Are you looking for book marketing strategies and tips for authors for promoting your self-published book? Are you beginning to wonder if it's a pay-to-play world and you're at a disadvantage because you're not doing anything when it comes to paying for your advertising? Well, today's video, we're going to address the pay-to-play question. Should you be paying to play? Should you not? Well, stay tuned. This is Self Publishing with Dale, where you learn to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable author brand. What do you think is the most effective way of marketing your books? And also, does it have to cost a lot? I'd love to hear your candid thoughts inside the comments down below. Also, stick around to the end because I'm going to give you my candid insights and my experience when it comes to marketing your self published books. It's important to understand where we came from before we start to analyze where we're at today. The way it used to be. Back about five years ago, I came into this business. I noticed that people would find that hot topic or that trending niche and they would jump onto it. They would just kind of fire off one here, one there, also known as shotgunning or spray and pray. People would just kind of go after these different things. And the nice thing is it was really really a good methodology and people were profiting hand and fist. Organic sales were through the roof and you really didn't need to do much more than spam social media and get reviews for your book the way it is now. If we were to compare and contrast both models of today and about five years ago, there is one thing that is shared in common. That is hot topics and trending niches. Yeah, everybody's always going to be consuming the next latest craze. But here's the thing. Brands are winning the biggest. The authors that really cement their legacy in a given niche are going to win bigger than someone who's just firing off one-offs. And let's face it, Amazon is getting a lot more strict when it comes to gathering reviews. The review gathering process was completely different years ago, whereas now Amazon almost wholeheartedly gets behind just organic reviews only. The Amazon algorithm, the thing that's responsible for serving the customers what they believe is going to be best for their buying needs, it's becoming a lot more sophisticated. They're starting to train it up to understand what are the best buying patterns and how they can best serve their audience. So where it was a little clunky back in the day, now it has become smart. And especially now that there's been some loopholes that have been closed up and they're starting to show the algorithm to kind of vet out those less savory elements. So those people that are going into a niche and they go deep into it are going to be the ones that win biggest. But what does that have to do with anything when it comes to marketing tips and if it's pay to play? Well, stay with me for just a minute because it has a lot to do with Amazon search engine. What is the difference maker? Well, here it is. I'm going to serve it right up here on a platter. It's called relevancy. You've heard me say that a lot on this channel, but search engines work a lot on whether or not your product or your service or your page is relevant. But what exactly determines relevancy? It all comes down to impressions, to clicks, to buys, and engagement or activity. I've talked about this in previous videos, but those four specific metrics really help to determine the relevancy of a product. And of course, the biggest metric is, is this selling? Are people coming and landing on your page and clicking that buy button and hanging on to that product? And the next thing is, are they really saying, okay, I love this product, or they're giving some type of a feedback because the name of the game is, can you drive revenue on Amazon? So that's why a lot of these folks that are going for one-off hits are at a bit of a disadvantage because they're going into it just one book on their hands, no reputation, no real audience, and they're saying, well, Amazon, you take care of this. Bring, bring me some customers. Well, Amazon's going, uh, what have you done for me lately? Honestly, what have you done for Amazon lately? Just because you're firing off these one-offs doesn't necessarily mean that you're all that in a bag of chips. Into the unfair advantage. 
Paying to play. Okay, so you're probably saying paying to play. If you're new to this business, you're probably glossing over going, well, what, is, what does this mean, Dale? This means that you have to invest in some type of advertising or marketing and promotion to drive traffic to your book and hopefully your product page is all dialed in and people buy the product. So let's take a look at a few models when it comes to advertising your books and I'll give you my personal opinion when it comes to what's gonna be best for you. Amazon advertising. Amazon advertising, formerly known as Amazon Marketing Services, is quite possibly the most dead simple way to advertise in your book. I'm starting out in sharing this particular model because to me, I think it's grossly underused and underrated and a lot of the indie authors are highly uninformed when it comes to the Amazon advertising platform. It's cost effective as long as you keep your cost per click low and you're choosing a wide array of keywords relevant to your particular publication. In my opinion, right now, Amazon advertising is the wild west. There are lots of keywords you can really capitalize on to bring in more audience to your book. The reason why I go so bullish on Amazon advertising is people go to Amazon to buy things. They are already a warm audience. They go on to Amazon's platform not just to research or find out how to's, they go there because they want to consume. So to me, I think that Amazon advertising is probably one of the best pay to play options when it comes to advertising your book. Now, let's go ahead and let's refer back for just a second here on relevancy. If somebody is advertising their book through Amazon advertising, think about this, we're delivering traffic over to our books page and it's being served up to relevant keywords it's having impressions possibly clicks hopefully sales and then eventually some type of engagement so this is why i think amazon advertising is probably one of the best pay to play options out there and believe it or not amazon's not paying me to say this so you want one of the easiest and most effective ways of increasing relevancy Amazon advertising is your solution. But what about Facebook ads and Google ads? Well, here's the deal. When you are going on to say Facebook, you're just going on there probably to see what your grandma is up to or watch some cat videos or post a picture of your food from this morning. You're typically not going on there thinking, ah, I'm gonna go on Facebook today to uh, buy a book. So you're already dealing with cold traffic. Yeah, there's gonna be some Facebook ads experts losing their minds because obviously it's a little bit more detailed. But the fact of the matter is, there is so much more work that's gonna to have to be put into Facebook ads, say, versus Amazon ads. And then let's look at Google ads. I'm gonna lump these two together because again, we're dealing with cold audience and unless we have some type of remarketing or retargeting plan put out in front of us, we stand to lose quite a bit of money. Unlike Amazon advertising, Facebook and Google are more than happy to relieve you of your money regardless of the outcome of your ad campaign. Amazon, on the other hand, you can probably set a $5 per day budget, you put your cost per clicks really low, and you may not even have any type of clicks on a given day, and that's okay. What about BookBub? A couple years ago, I actually interviewed a good friend of mine, Paul Rega, and uh, Paul actually shared a little bit of his love for BookBub and how he had some great success on that platform. Even uh, Martin Crosby was another interview guest here and uh, spoke of the effectiveness of BookBub ads. But here is the deal. It is really, really, really tough to get a BookBub placement inside their newsletter. They are very stringent with their guidelines, so the likelihood of you getting in there are slim and none, and even when you do, it is a bit more pricey. I've heard some great success stories when it comes to running BookBub ads, but then I've heard on the other end of things that there's some people that have lost some money. Then there's also their CPC ads to where their cost per click is set at a certain amount and it pretty much runs like say a Facebook or a Google ad and they'll drive the traffic. Now, 
I'm going to give BookBub the benefit of the doubt in the fact that if they are serving their ads out to readers, then they're going to be a bit more warm than, say, someone that is off Facebook or Google because people are going to BookBub, obviously, to uh, purchase books. So I have not tried out BookBub before, and I definitely would love to hear from you if you have tried out their cost per click campaigns. And what about other promotional services on websites? I hate to say this, and I'm not pointing to any one website. There are a ton of websites out there that do promotional services for your book, and uh, some of them more particularly will drive traffic to you if you have, say, free books or 99 cent books or some type of deals. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I've had some great success with some and other ones, eh. But for the most part, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time and testing for you to kind of figure out if there was one recommendation that I would give for all of these types of ads. Try them one at a time. Don't try to do all of them because you never know the effectiveness of any one area if you don't try to focus on it one at a time. But what about the question? Is it a pay-to-play world? Well, it's not a necessity, but it certainly helps. You will find other types of methodologies that are gonna be able to get your book out there and build your author brand, but you are starting out at a severe disadvantage over those that are already established and running ads to their particular book. I'd recommend starting out with one avenue at a time, and if I were to recommend anything over the other, give Amazon advertising a shot. In fact, it was just this past year I had a good friend of mine, Marco Motino, here right on this channel where he shared some insights about running good Amazon advertising campaigns and how you can kind of tweak some of the metrics inside your dashboard. You're going to want to make sure that you go and take a look at that video. I'll see you there. I don't want to be overspending on keywords that might not work, right? So I want to test. I want to test this. I want to test it first. So what I do 